everyone, uh, Circular Gaming. Right, um, part three. Um, we're just at uh, Param at the moment. We're gonna go and do a mission towards Rathon Field Base. This guy here is too lazy to do it, and I don't want a free pass. So I'm gonna show you the introduction to doing some missions on Param. This is the mission counter and in the mission counter you come across the, uh, select mission, join party and you can leave counter and in Pacific lobbies you can return to the city but we're already at the city due to the first lobby so you can join parties um, there's people already here doing parties but I can't do that because it's ranked S2 so different, there's different missions per each mission counter, some take you different places, but we want to go to Rathon Field Base, so mad creatures. And each mission has a requirement, a level requirement, so I have, you can be uh, level 10 plus to do that. Uh, sorry, no, you can be any level for that. Um, the creatures are level 10 plus. Um, people must be level 10 plus for that. 25 plus, 45 plus for an S, uh, 70 plus for S2, and you need to be level 100 plus for S3. So we're going to go and do an C run. Here you've got, um, you can abandon the mission, uh, you can edit the party name, so would, you could just edit the name to whatever you want. La 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 la. Edit comment, you can put a comment in there, so if you wanted help during the mission, you can put a comment there, say help, help me get through, la la la, where you go. If you want to be, do some solo runs, you can put a password on your mission at all. So any password you want saves people coming in, so we're not going to put a password on. And the, the item distribution, uh, rare items that drop, um, you can either pick to give it to the person who picks it up, or you can set it to random, so whoever picks it up, it randomly goes to someone. Or you can set it in a, a random order, uh, set in an order, so it'll go in order compared to rare items, so everyone gets an even distribution. Uh, let's go ahead and start the mission. There we go. So each mission has blocks and these crystals here. And with these crystals, you can, if you join someone's mission and they're in block 3, for instance, if they activate the crystal in block 3, you can jump straight here and go to block 3. Or you can return to the lobby. Uh, so we're going to go through the mission. I'm currently using a rifle. Uh, you've got the handgun and the saber. And I'm currently, if you press the left toggle in, you can check your account number, what class you are, and what level you are. Uh, your game attack, I'm currently using my girlfriend's at the moment because I've she's got spare slots and the character name. So I'm a ranger at the moment so I'm limited to only a few items. Uh, you get haystacks like these you can break and sometimes they get items like monomate. They heal you. So switch back to the rifle. If you was to hold your B button you'll come up with your menu. If you keep it held down you can scroll through your items and then release B and you switch items. Um, to use your secondary weapon, if you press the RB button, it'll select it. I get annoyed with having to hold it because sometimes you have to hold it and to use it. You can also change this feature if you go to your options menu. So it's a bit slower for you. Player information, system, options, go to lock, uh, weapon and technique swap. If you click to click, it saves you holding onto it, so it's freehand now. So with with guns, a uh, good tip to know is if you hold the LB button, you strafe, and you can attack while strafing. Saves a lot, so you ain't running around like this, constantly missing, and it locks on. So you can see, I can strafe, lock on, and attack my targets. It's a good tip to know for people who are new to the game. Uh, let's go to the rifle to do a bit more damage. With the rifle, same again, hold the strafe button, you also get to move back slightly as well in between shots. These monsters are electric as you can see, on the top left it's got the uh, the name Pulte, their level and their element. So 
like any elementals. Uh, this game has uh, elemental um, weakness and defense. So, electric will be weak against um, earth, fire is weak against water, water is weak against electric, so forth. Uh, basic principles, really. Um, so, I leveled up there. If you look on the right of my screen, it gives, tells you what you've leveled up. Um, ATP, ATA, Technique points, so it's attack points, attack accuracy, technique points, defense points, and evasion points. Uh, with that, in uh, my previous video, I told you about the uh, weapons. You need ATA that are required to use them. So now, every time you level up, you will be able to use better weapons the, the further you rank up. So I would, I would suggest um, people starting out to probably start solo runs before they start missions by themselves because when you're in a mission with loads of people in a party you tend to not get as much experience as you would solo in. Also if you've got bullets as well, um, bullets are easier to level by yourself. Um, same with any other skills necessarily because like I say you're, you're going to be hitting all the creatures yourself other people ain't going to be hitting them and I suppose if you want to level up your stuff quick I'd probably suggest doing solo runs but if you want to go for quick levels um, quick mission points to level up your uh, classes go for party missions and if you want to socialize I guess uh, because that way you're running a group of people it's quick to run with and you've got a lot of people by your side to help you go through the mission. As you can see where I'm generally weak at the moment because of my weapon, my level, it will take you some time. So if you want to level up quick to get to a position where you can solo by yourself, then by all means that's probably another good way to do it. it saves you busting balls trying to do this all the time <coughs> to level up to do solos. Uh, if you look under my health bar on the, on the left, uh, it's got like um, you've got like four, uh, five blank slots. When you're level 20, you can use SUV weapons for a cast, and they're like um, every time you kill a monster, you get hit or you hit a monster. That will rank up when you've got a SUV uh, equipped. Um, just uh, below the green bar is an experience bar so when I kill this creature you'll see my experience bar pop up slightly and that will indicate how far you are from your next level um, there you go as you um, as you progress higher in levels you get stronger you can equip better armor um, you can get better weapons and you can do better missions uh, theoretically uh, which unlocks the, the ability for you as a player to do better missions and find rare items and materials to make items as well. So I suggest running quite a lot at a low level, not so worrying about your rare items as much. Um, probably tend on building your character up as best as you can before you go out and try and find those rare items as hard as you can because at your level your your probably basis is to look um, to level up as quick as possible rather than finding rares. Um, oh, I hit so many zeros. The thing with these, uh, as you can see this Vara is buffed, it's got uh, the sword and the shield, that means it's the king. Uh, it's, it's, it's like the alpha male of its um, spawn system there. So it's it's got a higher attack and it's got higher defense. Um, as you can see there, I've, I've completed that wave of monsters and I get a key which activates this uh, gate here to unlock the, um, to the next stage. <coughs> Parwood, that's, that's another synth map. Um, some trees here, when you do a story mission on the fifth floor, you can unlock goggles and some, some um, features in here are breakable. So um, I'm going to run out of recording time. Um, by the time I finish this mission I should have recorded and I should be in the next lobby which will be wrapped on. So I shall see you there and thank you for watching.